I think uh, uh, from the Buddhist sort of uh, concept, Patit Sumupat, interdependency. So one event, there are a lot of different sort of what's it, uh, aspects. Uh, so last 50 years, in a way, we lost our own country, and particularly last 50 years, inside Tibet, there are a lot of ups and downs, and most cases, uh, a very, very suppressive sort of experience. Uh, so, uh, very sad. But one way, uh, we, homeless person, found new happy home with complete freedom uh, where you can uh, say they, uh, utilize human creativity nature and get these new ideas, new things, a new concept. Uh, after all, India, I think, uh, they, I think the country through centuries, many different ideas, different concepts developed in this country. So uh, I also, you see, get, I think, some uh, sort of what's it, some benefit from that tradition. And then basically, we are Buddhist. When we are in physically, when we are in Tibet, we always you see, mentally, you see, we look India is our spiritual home. So I always see, uh, sincerely you see, describing India, uh, Indians, our guru, we are Chela. So some Tibetan uh, masters you see, express Tibet, land of snow, naturally mm -hmm. snow white. Uh, but till light of India reached Tibet. Tibet still remained dark. <laughs> it is true. So therefore, uh, from that aspect, we are very happy. And, and now, actually, in practical level, now most part of my life and best part of my life spent in this country as a refugee, <laughs> or in other words, the longest guest of Indian government. <laughs> <laughs> and the people of India. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Of course. Of course. Yeah. So, so some kind of, I think, from some aspect, very happy uh, last 50 years. From some aspect, of course, some sad feeling like that. Mm -hmm. But basically, that's uh, very nature of samsaric life. <laughs>